Orange because that's our first showdown here today. It's the Orange matchup. And Hold it on. happens to also, Eric, be the future SEC Orange matchup as we're going to get a preview True. of a match that we'll be seeing many times in the future. Tennessee breaking out the summit blue to make sure we're clear out here. Here we go. We're ready at Maples. Caroline Kerr, the freshman center, with the first set. Maddie Skinner is blocked at the net. How about a little of that Tennessee defense to get things started with Kiki Granberry in the middle? Granberry alongside Morgan Fingal, who in the second round of the tournament had six blocks. And for as much as you're going to hear about the dynamic offense of Tennessee, as a team, they knew it was their defense that had to come along for them to really make a push in the tournament. So that would be very important. Good swing from the right side. Molly Phillips gets the first point for Texas. Texas has won six matches in a row. Last weekend at Gregory Gym, they took down Texas A&M in four, then they swept SMU in round two. They hit 446 in that match, so they played very well. And Tennessee played great in ending Western Kentucky's 25-match winning streak to advance out here to the regional semifinal. And there's a swing from the left side, off hands, and a point for Tennessee. That is Janasia Moore. When we talk about stars, she should certainly be in the picture. She is a transfer from Ohio State a season ago, was in the Elite Eight with that squad. And Janasia Moore brings a whole lot of tournament experience to this Tennessee team. Ashlyn King comes on to serve. Serves it at Emma Halter. And then they work the middle. The Longhorns get the kill from Asia O'Neill coming off a 14 kill 10 block performance against Texas A&M in round one. Added six more kills and five blocks in round two. And has yet to commit an error in tournament play hitting for sky high efficiency and that's an X factor for Tennessee because they lean into her defense and when she's on offensively things can get scary. Kayla Akana on the serve experienced player from the service line in postseason play. Bingo off the block, point Tennessee. Texas will have to play a little bit with their block set up against Morgan Fingal. She swings with that left hand from the right side. They're going to have to feel her out, determine how they want to set up against her. But a nice early swing and a good delivery from Caroline Kerr. Jay Torres serves to Tennessee. Set back to O'Neill. Now Fingal. Goes with the soft. Reset for Fingal. There's the Texas block. O'Neill, Skinner at the net. O'Neill, affectionately known as the slide queen. And the good news for, for Tennessee is that they actually defended it. And they were able to convert that and get into a transition game. But the Texas block wins out. This is what we're going to be keeping our eye on all night long. The offense of Tennessee versus the defense of Texas. Madison Skinner with the serve. Fingal with the rip. So strong. Gets up and gets everything into every swing. And it's not just that right side. She'll go back to serve right now. She can score from anywhere and everywhere on the court. She has a variety of shots. And I think you have to credit freshman setter Caroline Kerr there because she gave her the line. It was perfect placement. We actually have two freshman setters in this matchup. Let's see. Fingal gets a lot on that serve. Jenna Winnis is going to go long, and Tennessee is up by two here in set one. Winnis, Winnis hit for negative efficiency in the first match of the NCAA tournament, but turned that around, came back in the second round with 10 kills, hit 421. They really want to get her going early in this one. Fingal second in the SEC this season in kills per set, eight in hitting percentage. Back at the service line, comes up with the service error and a point for Texas. Both of these teams are coming off of dominant serving performances in their second round matches. Expect them to be very aggressive from the service line, trying to create pressure. Asia O'Neill back to serve. Torres bumps it over. Wenis. Swindle. Back row attack. Skinner. That has been such a dynamic piece, such an impactful piece of this Texas attack. Maddie Skinner attacking for the back row. And as we talked about the offenses yesterday when we were here for practice, Eric, we both talked about how this is one of our favorite shots. And it's because Maddie Skinner plays middle back, starts deep in the court, and you just see her athleticism as she comes flying through the air. Court mark with the block. 
O'Neal, little defensive play, knocks it out of play. Give the point to the Lady Balls. Erica Lovett will head back to serve for the Lady Vols, up by one. We welcome those of you who watched Wisconsin knock off Penn State in four sets. We welcome you to Maples Pavilion. Opening minutes of this match between Tennessee and the defending national champions, Texas. Our first match of the day. Eric Fried, Missy Whittemore here with you. And as you can see, 6-6 early. It's been tight so far in this match. We expect this to be a very tight regional with Arizona State and Stanford still to play here tonight. So much star power here in Palo Alto. We are just getting things going. We saw a huge rip down the line there by Janasia Morsh comes back with a power tip shot that time. Jenna West sends it over for Texas. Setting it to the middle, that's Raven Chase. Made her season debut on October 4th and she has steadily built up the time on the court and built up the numbers and she's been an impactful player in the middle for Tennessee. She'll check out right now. And she missed the first half of the season. So still creating a connection with her setter, Caroline Kerr. And I think the same can be said when you take a look at the freshman setter, Ella Swindle of Texas, and Asia O'Neill, who had some injuries early in the season with these young setters. We have seen connections get better and better. The block, Bergmark, Molly Phillips team up for Texas. Did we mention that Texas is second in the entire nation in blocks per set? You they are showing it over and us over why <laughs> early on here. Wow, what a wall. And it doesn't really matter what rotation it is. They're able to do that as they spin the dial around. Texas second to Wisconsin in blocks per set, just under three per set. Had seven blocks in the sweep over SMU to get here to the Stanford Regional. Set back for Erica Lovett. Another block, Maddie Skinner teaming up with Birdmark. You know Texas would like to have Skinner blocking Fingal when Fingal's in the front row, but it really doesn't matter because you're going to get just as many good rips from Fingal out of the back row. So that defense for Maddie Skinner there, very important. You just saw Wisconsin pile up 17 blocks in their win against Penn State. You saw how important that was in that match. And already Texas using the block to spark them to a lead here. Now on top 9-7, they've got three blocks. And Bella Bergmark, I'm not sure if that is the exact shot she was looking for, but she'll take it as it falls in for another Texas point. Carissa Barnes serves for Texas. Good rip, and that is in from the left side from Janasia Moore. If you're just joining us, Missy talked about the impact Moore has made. She has NCAA tournament experience. She was playing against Texas last season for Ohio State in the NCAA tournament. Such a good point, and she was very successful against Texas, so she comes in here with a whole lot of confidence. She averaged 11 kills a match in the tournament last year. Skinner has to bump it over. Set back for Fingal, dug out by Barnes. Swindle, that's going to be tight at the net, and Lovett takes advantage. Fingal, rather, takes advantage. She's got the point for Tennessee. Texas doing their best to try to get a true swing out of this, trying to put a ball up in the window for Maddie Skinner, just too tight off of that bump set. But I love the fact that Morgan Fingal takes care of business. She quickly sends that ball to the floor, does not give Texas another ch another chance. Fingal with three kills in the first set, averaging better than four kills a set on the season. Caroline Kerr misses the mark. Second service error for Tennessee puts Texas in front, and sophomore Emma Halter, the Libro, will head back to serve for the Longhorns. 24-4 on the season. They've won six in a row after winning twice in Austin to get here to Stanford. Another block for the Longhorns. That's already four here in set one. And that's the dream matchup if you're Texas. You've got Asia O'Neill and Maddie Skinner in the front row to defend Fingal. That is just what they like. Quickly set to Granberry by the freshman Kerr for the kill. Really nice choice by Kerr because when the block is getting the best of your offense, a great way to create a one-on-one -on -one look is the quick ball to the middle. That's going to have only one blocker up for Texas and credit Granberry for going around it. 
Granbury 10 kills in the NCAA tournament entering play here tonight. Sophomore out of Florida. Ashlyn King serves Halter. Swindle for Skinner. Off hands point Texas. High and deep for Madison Skinner. What a quality swing as she goes off the top of those blockers hands. Take another look here. A big high rip. Really nice placement there by Ella Swindle. Skinner seventh in Division One in kills per set at 4.7. Bingle. O'Neill. The defense has been the story so far for Texas against the Tennessee attack. You've got a team who is second in the nation in blocking, led by Asia O'Neill, first in the nation in blocking. And look at this on her way down the tip back this texas block the link and the athleticism they have the ability to take over a match good serve by akana love it with the rip off the hands give points to tennessee it's a difficult swing for erica love it because the pass is off the net the set is off the net to erica love it she's got two big blockers waiting on her she really manages that swing well in order to wipe it off his hands jay torres serves for tennessee Short serve. Skinner gets a lot out of it. That's her third kill. And that's what Texas was looking for moments ago when they passed that ball up too tight to the net. But I can appreciate the effort to get a real swing. They are not sending free balls over the net, trying to create offense even in broken situations. And Maddie Skinner with a very aggressive swing. 20 kills against Texas A&M. 21 kills in the three-set win over SMU. Quick offense. Raven chase back on, and she's got the kill for Tennessee, her second of the match. And with the effectiveness of the Texas block right now, if the pass is there, I really like the choice of running the middle for Tennessee. Bingo back to serve for the Lady Vols. Connor there. Swindle, Winnis for the kill. That gets Texas to 15. It gets us to immediate timeout. Yeah, something's got to give, and the Texas block has not budged. They have T Tennessee hitting at 190 right now, well below their average. That will help Tennessee. Tennessee came into the match 307, third in Division One. They hit 302 against Western Kentucky in their most recent game. So Erica Lovett will head back to the service line. Long Beach State transfer back in her home state, second season with Tennessee. Good serve, she's got Texas out of system. Chance here for Tennessee. Get one back. Swindle looks for the kill. Another block. Bergmark's been an impact player here in the first set. Tennessee told us transition would be very important. If they can get Texas into a long rally, that is where they have to take advantage and win some of these transition plays. But right now, the Texas block is controlling set one. Swindle serves at the Moore. Moore gets in position for the kill. Skinner back for it. Picked up in that nicely by Texas. Setting the middle, and Raven Chase has her fourth kill so far. Well, Tennessee running into the middles here in the first set. And that speaks to the quality of their first contact, that they've been able to push the ball to the middle. So it's the block has been elite for Texas. It really hasn't been about a breakdown of Tennessee's first contact. They're handling the ball quite well. But in the middle, they're able to find their way around that big block. Abby Eckler on to serve again for Tennessee. Window to win us. That's another kill for Janasia Moore. Eve Rackham Watner, sixth season at Tennessee, a homecoming for her, Northern California native from Sebastopol. A couple of hours, depending on what time you decide to leave here, <laughs> north of here. So she said she had some friends and family coming down here to Maples to see her Lady Vowles. 
And you know, Eric, not only is she from Northern California, but this is a Tennessee team that took a West Coast trip early in the season, played San Diego out here on the West Coast in the non-conference, and little did Rackham Watt know how that could possibly pay off here in the postseason to be making this trip again and sort of be familiar with that trip across the country and the time change. Time change, yeah. how, you, how you manage the sleep and the nutrition and when yes. you travel and when you leave. So. Little did she know that that late August trip out to San Diego would be a little bit of a scouting mission on how to handle the trip. Not much you can do about what te Texas is doing at the net right now as they are showing that physicality. We've seen Asia O'Neill and Maddie Skinner. How about Molly Phillips and Bella Bergmark? It doesn't matter. The block is sealing the net. They have been here in set one. Such a great blocking performance by Texas, and here they are still within three. And out of the timeout, Tennessee keeps it alive. Torres just enough to get it over the tape. Skinner goes off speed. Back set for Phillips. Fingal off hands, point Tennessee. That was a great job by Torres to get all the way back there and not give up defensively that led to that offense. I could not agree more. That is a huge point for Tennessee because it's a transition win for them and hopefully a momentum builder. Jay Torres, Libero in her first season with Tennessee after playing at Bowling Green at a high level. Caroline Kerr. That's the third service error for Tennessee. So service errors are three for Tennessee, zero for Texas. Blocks are seven for Texas, one for Tennessee. Yet it's just a three points per set right now in favor of Texas. Quick set again to Granbury in the middle. Skinner sets up for the kill. What a rip by Madison Skinner. You're just able to see how sharp of an angle she has. We saw so much of this in round two to help her team advance to the regional, and now more of it. That is an incredible shot within the 10-foot line. Skinner hitting 500 in set one. Texas as a team hitting 368. Tennessee gets one back with Granberry. Granberry with a couple kills now. That's two. Raven Chase with four, six kills out of the middle for Tennessee in just the first set. That's a very important offense for them. Here's Ashlyn King. Time for the team lead in aces this season with 31. They can use one here. Diving play by Lovett to keep it alive. Lovett back in her feet. Pancake save by Swindle. Skinner, off hands, point Texas. Take another look at this pancake here. How about Swindle getting in on the defensive action and then creating some tempo to the outside. That ball set a little inside. And what a smart swing for Madison Skinner to turn on it. Instead of hitting into that block, swipe it off of hands. First one to 25, got a win by two, takes the set. Texas getting very close. Another good play by Torres to keep Tennessee in a point. O'Neal, Texas up by five. And that is why they call her the slide queen. Make it two kills. But first, before we even talk about that, we've got to look at the play from Torres in the back row. Keeps Tennessee in it, but Asia O'Neill. Henry Day and Gregory, but it has been a long, steady climb for yeah. Texas all season long to get to this point right now. And not only were they not whole, but as we mentioned early on, this is a team who had to replace their first and second contact from a season ago, and that is a huge thing to overcome, to replace both your setter and your libero. You have to expect some growing pains, but the effort, the consistency, the training, paying it off. By the way, replacing the National Player of the Year, just want to throw that in as well. Yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> Oh boy, the medals have been pretty good for Tennessee here. We've seen Raven Chase get four kills, and now we see Kiki Granberry get her third kill. Seven so, kills out yep. of the middle for Tennessee in set one, three for Texas so far out of the middle, their middles combined. Seven of the 16 kills 
for Tennessee have come from the middles. Skinner tried to play that angle again. Tennessee was ready for it. Great job by Halter. Skinner off the net a bit. She doesn't have to be too close to that. She's got so much skill and talent. She can score from anywhere. She gets the point for Texas. I am a big fan of Texas's commitment to take swings out of system. They are not sending free balls over the net. They are relentless right now in terms of the aggression of their swings. Skinner back to serve for the Longhorns. Two points away from taking set one. O'Neill, the slide's not there this time, and there's an attack error for Asia O'Neill. The first of the tournament. Ah, oh, I hate to say it. You think Asia knew she was pitching a perfect game? I don't. I think she probably Wouldn't did. Wouldn't you one of the best players in the yeah. country? Maybe an Olympian yeah. next year? Yeah. Very well. She'd be on her she way to the Olympics. You better believe it. Bingle, that one's going to sail long. That's service error number four for Tennessee, and it is set point for Texas. O'Neill looking to end it here for the Longhorns. Back row attack, off the mark, no touch. Point Texas, set one goes to Texas. Held both Morgan Fingal and Janasia Moore to negative hitting efficiency numbers. So we will see if those two can turn things around. Time for a burst as you saw the end, set number one. Teams change and ends. That's going to be four contacts for Tennessee and an early point for Texas. So you said Texas siding out at 80%. What does that number tell you? Because that is a very high number. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you're nearing 70, you're feeling good about that. So to be at 80 when the other team goes back to serve 80% of the time, you're siding out on that first serve, not allowing them to string together any points. And I think early in the season, something we saw from Texas was them giving up large strings of points as they were still getting used to this new unit on the floor, and we're not seeing that so far tonight. Morgan Fingal back to serve again for Tennessee. After she picked up her team high fifth kill. Swindle for third mark. Skinner. Uh, violation. Point. Texas. You can see Tennessee working so hard to try to slow down Madison Skinner. You know, you're working up there to just get a piece of it, and she actually draws that block into the net, creates errors because of her success. Bingo with the back row attack. Missed the mark, though. Point for the Longhorns. You saw with that rip how dangerous Morgan Fingal can be. I mean, no one's touching that ball if it catches the line, but she's slightly off the mark, so it just has to recalibrate here. The setter looking to jump into play. Caroline Kerr gets the kill. We mentioned the fact that we have a matchup of freshman setters, but boy, you wouldn't know it by the way these two ladies run their offense. Caroline Kerr, a redshirt freshman, knew that she would have to replace Natalie Hayward this year. So she had a season to be groomed and to learn, whereas Ella Swindle, a true freshman at Texas. On the overpass, Tennessee gets the point. Eric Free, Missy Whittemore with you here. Maples Pavilion, Stanford University. Regional semifinal number one here at the Stanford Regional. Tennessee taking on Texas. Set one went to the defending national champions. They had seven blocks in the set. Hit 346 to take set 125 to 19. Quick offense for the Longhorns, and Texas goes back in front by one. Molly Phillips with the kill. For Phillips, make it three kills now on five swings without an error. And this is a player who has been dominant for Texas in postseason last year. She was a player to reckon with, and she can certainly be an X factor for the Longhorns. Kaylee Akana with the service error. That is the first of the match for Texas. Four errors to that one for Tennessee at this point in the match. Not real high error, 
I think both teams trying to go for it from the service line. Unfortunately for Tennessee, I thought a couple of their errors came late in set one when they needed to stay within reach. Phillips, rather Skinner with another kill. Put Texas up by one. Make it eight now for Maddie Skinner, who is just on par in terms of her tournament performance to date because she has already had two 20-plus kill matches in the NCAA tournament. 21 against SMU, 20 against Texas A&M, and now a point back for Tennessee after the service error. Two early errors here for Texas from the service line, and Tennessee will take it. Caroline Kerr, all SEC selection, member of the all-freshman team. Swindle, the freshman center for Texas. Up one for Jenna Winnis to handle, and it's a point to put Tennessee back in front. Winnis really just trying to tap that one over the block. Timing not there on the connection with the set, but Granberry showing some hang time. Winnis. Torres is there, catches the scoreboard, and then goes over the net, so that's going to be a point for Texas. And Eric, had that ball come back on the Tennessee side of the net, that would have been legal for them to play. But because it hits the structure and travels over, that is considered out of bounds. O'Neill puts it in play. Quick offense off hands point, Tennessee. Another good pass for Tennessee and more offense out of the middle. It has really been all about the middle offense right now for Tennessee. The block doing a great job shutting down the pins. And really my notes said coming in the, into this one, three pins exclamation point when you look at the Tennessee team over the course of the season. And it's been all about offense out of the middle. The, you had the middles in the fine print, they, I'm sure. Maybe they saw my notes. notes and were offended. We'll see Whittemore, the motivator. Who knew? <laughs> That's an attack error, and Tennessee is up by two here in set number two. So maybe the Lady Vols building a little momentum right now. Ashlyn King trying to keep it going. Bingo! Halters had a couple of good digs here in this match already. And then the rip from who else but Maddie Skinner. What a play by Emma Halter down the line. She just steps in and absorbs this one. Look at her, play it up. And then here comes tennis, or excuse me, Texas again, getting a quality swing out of a one option pass. Absorbs doesn't seem strong enough. That's yeah. Morgan Fingal lefty yes. rip. There is a little bit of velocity on one of her swings. Walter showing no fear. Fingal's gonna try again. No stopping this one though, she gets the kill. That's her sixth. And Fingal needed that one because that's now six kills to go along with six errors. That puts her back at zero. Texas has really done a great job of containing her. Texas not doing as great a job containing this team. Tennessee in this set hitting 571. Remember, they struggled in set one hitting 189. Good short serve. Dug out by Eckler. Back row attack and the block. That's number eight for Texas. Timing wasn't quite right. Coming out of the back row for Janasia Moore. She's either a little early or the set is a little high because she has to wait. She's hitting that on her way down. The advantage goes to the block there. So credit Bella Bergmark for taking care of business. Strong hands, low and over. Barnes. Bingo. Wendell dug it out. Skinner, Torres tried and she landed awkwardly and she's grabbing at her left shoulder after trying to make that dig. And she right away shaking her head no to Rackham Watt. Right in front of us, I could hear her hit the floor, Eric, and she was immediately wincing in it pain. Like it, was right, it was right in front of us. Mm -hmm. and it just looked like when she extended that left arm, all her weight just went mm -hmm. right on that joint. And you could see when she walked over towards the Tennessee bench, she was just 
keeping that arm limp at her side. Mm. Yeah, you can just see grabbing for that left shoulder right away. Torres picked up a couple of Defensive Player of the Week awards in her first year in the SEC. Part of a much improved Tennessee defense, Eve Rackham Watt, for all the talk about how this offense has carried this team. She just thought that the floor defense has been better, passing has been consistently good, service pressure better. This is a team that has first and foremost relied on its offense. And an attack error there for Lovett gives a point to Texas. Yet to be an ace registered in this one, and yet we've seen some great service pressure. That, that right there from Carissa Barnes, that serve prior to the error there was some great pressure. Tennessee has had to fight and serve receive. Service error number three for Texas, all three in this set mm -hmm. for the Longhorns. Fingold back at the line for the Lady Balls. And double contact called on Texas, so a point to Tennessee. Nice driving serve there again by Fingal, as we said, just creating pressure, going zone one to zone one across the court. Take a look how that ball moves mm -hmm. from back behind her serve. Torres looks like she's really favoring that left arm, isn't it right now? It does, yeah. Oh, uh, gosh, she's wincing now yeah, every time she tries she to reach for it. really uncomfortable. Fingal. Good job by Texas. Bumped over by Skinner. Torres with the set. They go down the middle, and another attack from the middle from Raven Chase. And Torres steps in and passes that free ball, but she did not extend her arm, Eric. And she barely stuck her arms out there to pass that now, ball. Eve, we all know what's at stake. Torres stays out there, out of the timeout. Fingal with the serve for Tennessee. Lady Ball's up by two. Chase with the block. Skinner off the mark. Point Tennessee on top by three. Great adjustment by Raven Chase. Texas ran that particular play in set one. They send two behind, like a quick X play behind the setter. And Raven Chase sticks with her assignment there and leans right into it. So right now, Tennessee is serving. But if you're Texas, you can see what is happening with the Tennessee Libro. If you're Texas, what are you doing or trying to do to take advantage of that? Well, I would think if they can get the ball back, which they do right here, another quick ball behind. They're doubling up behind, trying to overload that left front blocker. And it works. They had gone to Molly Phillips previously. This time, they go quick to Bella Bergmark behind. So I would expect here from the service line, wouldn't you go at the Libero here, knowing that she's struggling a little? And the halter, Libero for Texas. And they tried to. They tried to, but they didn't clear the net. So a service error, that is for this set for Texas. And Tennessee back on top by three. If you're Tennessee, what can you do to protect your Libro who's not at 100%. Well, Erica Lovett, back at the service line, people have referred to her as another Libro on the floor. You know, if the majority of balls are going into left back, you could switch Torres and Lovett for a while and try to give Torres a bit of a break. Tennessee had to bump it over. Swindle, back set. Tennessee's defense is there. Torres tight at the net, and it drops down for a point for Texas. And that's Torres on second contact. Understand when she's in left back, not only does she take a lot of balls, she steps in a lot for secondary setting. And if she's uncomfortable, that could possibly be something that could be impacted there. Akana, as we mentioned before, so good from the service line in her Texas career. Coming our way, Torres tried to save it, but just ran out of room. And it's a point. And an ace for Akana, Texas. 
And you have to wonder for Torres if there's some hesitancy there with the way that that shoulder is feeling. She can't afford to take a dive into the table. So toward four, off balance chase. O'Neill bumps it over. Chase again. Timing is off. Skinner. Good job. Fingal got there, but they're not going to get over the net. It's going to be a point for Texas. And now Caroline Kerr a little slow getting up. And you can see, even in that rally, those Tennessee players trying to protect Torres. Several players chasing that ball off the court, hoping they can be the one to make the diving play. Three nothing run for Texas as Akana building some momentum at the service line mm. and that momentum hits a wall or in this case some tape. Texas now has more service errors than Tennessee does here in this match five to four and all five for Texas have come in set two. Now Torres back to serve. And how about that? <laughs> Jay Torres gets the first ace of the match for Tennessee. And even you're looking at her, she's like, she's not using that left arm to really. Torres going back behind the curtain for some more medical attention. So the freshman comes on, and I mean, this is a tough situation. This is just her second appearance in the NCAA tournament. She played one set in Knoxville in opening weekend. And you come in cold. Got the service line in a tight second set. Has played in only 24 sets over the entire season so far. Madison Skinner back to serve for Texas. The block back in play. Point Longhorns. And what has sparked Texas's energy this entire match? It's been the block. Ella Swindle this time alongside Asia O'Neill. That length, that athleticism, that dominance at the net that has defined Longhorn Volleyball. Dingle from the back row. On the block. And in the net, Point Texas. Remember, it was a 14-11 lead for Tennessee. You see how things switch. The Longhorns, at the end of the first set, went on a bit of a run and pulled away in set number one to win 25-19. And an ace. Madison Skinner going across court here and serving the seam with such precision. Timeout called by Tennessee. Now down by two in set two. And out of the Tennessee timeout. A service error that is the sixth of the match and of the set for Texas. A good timeout by Rackham Watt. That is a point that Tennessee needed here to stop this run from the Longhorns. Caroline Kerr. Swindle. Dug out by Kerr. Bingo. That one time in the air and head to the scores table and running out of room is Texas. And it's a point for Tennessee. And so Eric now with the Libro off the floor as Torres is dealing with a shoulder injury. We do see Erica Lovett who is a phenomenal defender playing in left back for Tennessee. We saw her dig a ball. We see her step in on secondary setting which is a big role of the Libro and she puts up a really pretty ball. First serve dug out by Wenis. Off hands chance here for Tennessee. Love it. Off hands and a point for the Lady Vols. Good response here by Tennessee. Clint Plante into the match for Tennessee. Does a nice job with her height on that back line of playing the ball deflected off the block. Out of the timeout. Tennessee up by one, set two. Texas took set one, 25-19. Iconic. 
Tays the one there defensively and turning it into offense. It's Janasia Moore on the kill. And because we've got Erica Lovett in left back, this is Ponte in the back row. What a great overhead pass to keep her team in system. And it also creates tempo, taking that ball above her head, gets the ball to the center quickly. And Janasia Moore with that big swing, a whip of an arm at the left side. 4 nothing run, and Tennessee's the first team to 20 here in set two. Wenis, the block, rolls down the tape, and Tennessee's on a 5 nothing run. Granberry and Fingal record block number three for Tennessee. Who is Madison Skinner as well. Look on the court, you see a few veterans out there who celebrated the national championship in Omaha a season ago. That one is down for the point for Texas on the swing from Wenis. And Rackham Watt is saying, excuse me, but the entire net is moving. It has to be a net violation there. And she's got the green card in her hand. The only question in my mind would be, had the ball hit the floor before Jenna Winnis comes into the net? So the green challenge card has been shown for the first time. Each team gets two challenges for the match. If you were successful on your challenge, you keep a challenge, unsuccessful. You lose. Michael O'Connor, oh, and it is a successful challenge for Tennessee. Pretty quick review by our R2, so a net violation, that is a critical successful challenge, of course, for Tennessee. I don't know about you, but 22-18 on the board, if you're a Tennessee fan, looks a whole lot better than 21-19. So it's a 6-0 run, and the freshman Caroline Kerr continues to serve for Tennessee. Dug out by Kerr. Love it with the bump. Moore with the rip. Another dig by Halter. That one's going to go long. Did not touch hands. Point Tennessee, two points away from evening this match. Just a miss there by Jenna Winnis as it comes off of her hand awkwardly. And now Winnis has dipped into negative numbers while we're seeing Single start to climb out of the hole. And Janasia Moore back to zero. Caroline Kerr, what a good serve. That one's tied at the net. Akana pulls it off. Swindle with the back set. Chance here for Tennessee and Single. Swindle goes left side to Winnis for the kill, and that ends the run at seven straight points for Tennessee. Another look at this transition dig by Madison Skinner. And then I didn't see the block live, but now, as you see on the replay, Jenna Winnis just takes what's given to her and goes inside the block there, cuts in for a sharp angle. That one is going to be a service error on O'Neill. Point Tennessee, set point for the Lady Balls. And Eric, seven service errors now for Texas, all coming in set two. That has been the difference. Ashlyn King serving for the set. Swindle to Wenis. Off the fingertips, and that drops in. Point, Texas. Really well placed by Jenna Winnis because Tennessee is asking their off blocker to pick up that tip shot, and that is a long trip across the court if she places his right down the line, which is exactly what Jenna Winnis does. Freshman Ella Swindle will head back, but first, a little mop up duty on the court. Set point number two for Tennessee. Set back, the rip, the point, the set goes to Tennessee. And not, not only the set, but it comes off of the arm of Morgan Fingal, and that provides. As they head into set number three. Morgan Fingal back to serve. Eight kills so far for Fingal. Go along with three blocks and a dig. Janasia Moore with six kills for Tennessee. Fingal starts set three. 
Skinner. Set back for Fingal. Skinner tries again. Goes with the changeup and gets the point. So smart on the part of Maddie Skinner. We have seen high flying rips from her so far tonight. And that time just drops it right over the top of the block. And the halter with the serve. Chase on the slide. Swindle back for Phillips and a net violation. Point Texas. Love it. Gets a little piece of the net there in an attempt to defend Molly Phillips. I really like the choice there from Ella Swindle. Hasn't been a heavy dose of right side for Texas, but she's keeping the defense honest. On the rip, there's Lovett getting the point back for Tennessee. Nice snap of the wrist there by Erica Lovett to plant this one right in front of the Texas defense. Look at this, off the net, inside. Looks like there's no way she can find a kill there, and yet she just rips one hard cross court. Lovett with the serve. Skinner has it blocked back. Tennessee with the block. Raven Chase in the first swing on the outside by Maddie Skinner here to start this third set had a really nice block deflection, which tells me she's starting to get the right read, the right timing, the right block set up, and now we see it pay off with the actual stuff block. Texas had seven blocks in set one, two in set number two. Quick offense on the right side to Molly Phillips for the Texas point. A plethora of weapons in that particular rotation for Ellis Swindle. You got Maddie Skinner, Asia O'Neill, and Molly Phillips across the front row. Take your pick. On the block, dug out by Tennessee. The set for Fingal. And then that's Skinner and O'Neill at the net for Texas. This ball is inside, as you see. Maddie Skinner does a really nice job, though, of setting the location of the block correctly because the ball is set inside. It's a little tight. And if Maddie Skinner sets that block correctly, easy. Again, going at Plante right down the middle as we've seen that adjustment. That's off the antenna. Good look on that end zone look. And the point for Texas as right now Akana. Texas coaching staff, they're going after the freshman replacement at Libero for Tennessee. That's what volleyball is. When you talk to coaches, it's you're trying to identify in scouting reports and looking at film what you're going to target to try to give you an advantage. That's just the nature of it. And now when you see what happened in this match where the Libero gets hurt, that was the target. But now a service error for yeah. Texas and the point to Tennessee. And interestingly, a couple of Texas's errors came after the injury when they were going after a particular player and serve receive, trying to make sure they hit a particular target actually created the error, which is very interesting. Here's Abby Eckler back to serve for the Lady Vols. Skinner rolls it over for the point. And the set not there for Texas. Maddie Skinner had no look at that ball. Tennessee has to make a quicker adjustment, a quicker read on that. When you see low elbow from Maddie Skinner, ball not in a great location, they got to be charging for the off speed on that one. Skinner back to serve for Texas. 13 kills, five blocks and an ace for the All-American. Kerr, the center, looks for the kill. They go after Morgan Fingal. She can't handle it. Point Texas. And there's a great read by Emma Halter, who picks up the ball over by Caroline Kerr and creates transition offense for her team. You know, Skinner got an eye on the white shirt on the other side. 
again, this is a good point by you that you made just a moment ago, Missy, where you, you get caught up in trying to exploit a potential weakness, and yeah. sometimes it's hard to do. Trying so hard to force it, and maybe even serving a location that you're not as comfortable with. As a, you know, the, for the coach calling the serve, if you know Maddie Skinner is more comfortable going cross court there, do you just stick with that now and go away from the target? Venice blocked out of play. Well, they say that's in. Yeah, I think that one caught the line. Granberry, I'll tell you what, Kiki Granberry has a huge upside. Only a sophomore, what a bright future she has. A two-way middle, she can point score, block balls. Ended up top 10 in the SEC in blocks per set this mm -hmm. season after being all freshman a year ago. Oh, that's off the hands. It's gonna work out well for Texas and give the Longhorns the point. Put them back on top by three here in set three. And you see some frustration from the sidelines for Tennessee because, again, they have Texas in an off-speed situation. That's when you have to transition. You've got to have that. There's O'Neal just off the tape and over. Big swing off of Wenis. The attack on the left side from Janasia Moore. And they're forcing those Texas left sides to try and defend. We saw them go at Maddie Skinner. Now Jenna Winnis putting the pressure on. Morgan Fingal said yesterday about Janasia Moore, when she gets the ball, you know it's going to be a big swing. Mm -hmm. Janasia Moore has never cheated. Not a lot on that one, but it's effective from the center, Ella Swindle. Swindle, one of our freshman setters that we've talked a lot about at six foot three. Has all the tools, including the height. She gets on top of that one. What a nice job, though, of her recognizing that the middle block for Tennessee had released was not defending her at all. That's her 82nd kill on the season and her sixth in the NCAA tournament. It was just out of sync for Tennessee. Granberry tried to make the most of it, but missed the mark. And Texas is up by four here in the third. And Eve Rackham wants. Doesn't like what she sees right now, so she's going to call a timeout. That should be incredibly entertaining when you think of Arizona State was the only team in rounds one and two that had road sweeps. Both their wins were by sweep on the road. There were a handful of sweeps, six in all, but only one on the road. That was Arizona State going to BYU and getting a couple of sweeps, including BYU get here to the regional semifinal round. So you see that coming up next. That's Fingal off hands and a point for Tennessee. And the way that Morgan Fingal was able to go up high off hands tells you that the set of that location was perfect. So really good placement there by Carolyn Kerr. Putting it in the window for Morgan Fingal to give her that high hand shot. Tennessee brings Sydney James on to serve here. Tennessee really needing to use their depth with the injury to Torres. Bingo. Good job by Holter again. This is tighter than that. Winnis hangs in the air for Texas. Locked back. Bingo and Chase at the net for Tennessee. Recognition here by Morgan Fingal. Look at the tight base. She is all over that swing from Bella Bergmark. Nice setup, and it's Raven Chase just diving in there at the last second. Simi James in her 28th set of the season. And double contact called on Texas. So Tennessee on a bit of a run right, you know, to make it 10-9. Bit of a double whammy there for Ella Swindle. That ball is not only off the net, but it's low. So she has a hard time getting there in time. Just make that spin set. Another kill from Chase in the middle for Tennessee. And what a nice pivot here from Tennessee tonight. Obviously, this kill 
created by an excellent serve that Raven Chase takes care of, but we're seeing a lot of offense out of the volunteers from the middle. When their pins have been shut down just a little by this Texas block, they've done a great job of utilizing their middles. Good serve by James. Set back, bingo. Kill for Tennessee. Will Texas take a timeout here? They are down by one, but the run is now 5 nothing for Texas. And you always have to be ready when your number is called. And right now, it's number 14. It's Sydney Janes, the freshman, making her NCAA tournament debut and getting it done for Tennessee. Had played in 27 sets this season and had five aces coming in. That ends the run, but I think we saw it earlier today. Louisville's win. Reese Robbins came on and had five kills to help Louisville to a five-set win over Creighton. And in this case, it's Sydney James who comes on, goes on a service run. That run ends with the point there for Texas to tie it at 11. With the swing from the right side, Molly Phillips with the point. And by the way, that was Caroline Kerr with the back row block. She could not put her hands above the net. She's a back row player in that rotation. She just puts them above her head and blocks that ball back over the net. Watch this. <laughs> back row block, by the way. Skinner. Hands, Point Tennessee. And you see a huge reaction out of the Tennessee bench because that is Plante with a big time transition dig. She's inserted into the match for Torres, their Libro who has been injured here tonight and stepping right in, digging some nails there. Served by Fingal, Skinner. As Texas was out of sorts, and it's a point for Tennessee. Lady Vols by one here in set three. This is a 7-2 run by the Lady Vols to go in front here in the third. Skinner tried to find the line, could not. Tennessee's on top by two, and now Texas will take a timeout. Coming up about 30 minutes after the conclusion of this match. I think all four coaches, when we talked to them yesterday, I think the consensus was do not expect sweeps here at Maples this weekend. Every coach commented on the fact that this was such a deep regional. They had so much re respect for the opposing teams. You could just see it in their face. They truly did not know what to expect. There was not a favorite here in, at Stanford. The rip by Lovett, Point Tennessee. We've talked about the depth and the dynamic play of this Tennessee offense all season long, and that Texas block made it hard on them early, but if these outsides for Tennessee get going, watch out. Ace! Halter has handled so much that I couldn't handle that one, and it's an ace for Lovett to put Tennessee on top by three. And aces have not been easy to come by. That is only the second ace for the Volunteers so far here tonight. It's a very good serving team. Skinner. And Chase thought she had handled it, but the officials blew the play dead. Give the point to Texas. Raven Chase makes first contact with her block, which doesn't count as an actual contact, tries to fist it on her way down, and thought she got it cleanly, but the up official calls a lift there. Sixteen, fourteen, Tennessee in the best of five, set number three. 
Kana out the serve. On the left side, there's the block. Tennessee sticks with it. Moore gets it over. Swingle to O'Neal. Dug out by Plante. Plante now calling for it. Moore tried to pick the corner, could not. Point Texas. You see Moore trying to use shots, trying to make adjustments because that Texas block is right there waiting on her. Credit Tennessee, though, for doing a nicer job here as the match goes on of covering their attackers. They're playing some of those balls up out of that Texas block. Bingle on the back row attack. That's off the mark. Texas has tied it up at 16. Tennessee hitting 091 in this set. Texas at 217. Battle at the net. Swindle looks for the kill, gets it. That's her second, and it puts Texas in front. Great timing here by Swindle to go over on two because she knows that Tennessee defense is scrambling. They've just had to send an awkward ball over the net. No one in base defensively, and she throws it right back at him. 4 nothing run right now for Texas. Akana building the momentum to the service line. Tennessee gets a point from their center as Kerr gets it. And that time, someone out of necessity. The pass not quite there, tight to the net. Caroline Kerr just thinks that is her best option, and I would tend to agree. She does a nice job, though, of throwing it with some intensity. Abby Eckler on to serve for Tennessee. Akana can't handle the serve. It's an ace for Eckler. That's her first of the match and her 19th of the season. Second of the tournament. We see a change here from Texas as they pull Akana out of serve receive and drop Maddie Skinner back. We'll see where Eckler goes this time. Down the line again. Skinner. Maddie Skinner over the top. No block there can touch that one. Just sky high over the top. Plenty of power. Skinner with the 15 kills, hitting 273. Also with five blocks. Tied at 18 here in the third set. Texas took set one. Tennessee bounced back to take set two. And there's a swing and a point, and Erica Lovett says, how do you like that one? Tennessee's on top. Getting more and more offense from the left side as this match goes on. That Texas block was all over it early on. Caroline Kerr with the serve. Asia O'Neal with the kill. That's her fourth of the match. Tied again. High and deep for Asia O'Neal. No defense for that deep corner shot. They've dug her a couple times when she's gone for a hard angle on the slide, but that time up over the top of the block, snaps deep into the corner. And he'll back to serve. Off the tape, Ponte saved it. And then it's Granberry for the point for Tennessee. Good chemistry there between Caroline Kerr and Granberry as Kerr is sliding along the net to catch up with the pass. And I really like the fact that Granberry stays with her, works hard to be an option offensively, and it pays off. Janasia Moore set to serve. Angle by Skinner. Wenis blocked back by Tennessee. Wenis on the reset. Tennessee's defense there again. Wenis for a third time. Skinner 
First change up from the back row. Good job by Plante to get yes. there. When it's again, again denied by Tennessee. Halter got there. What a point. Love to see it. What a great rally. What patience on the part of Texas not to error themselves out of that to make team and set number two. Tennessee took a timeout and the team responded on a seven nothing run in that set 125 20. Now out of the timeout a service error for Tennessee. That's their seventh. So Texas within one. And we saw this from Texas in the second set. But near the end of the set, they made a few errors from the service line, gave away points. And this time it's Tennessee who does so. Swindle with the serve. Fingle off the nets. That's going to be long, and we're tied at 21. Back to back errors for Tennessee. Window, good serve. Alter bumps it over to Winnis. But Tennessee's there for the block. Granberry at the net again. How hard has Granberry had to work to finally score the stuff block? Because they have blocked Jenna Winnis over and over and over, and the Texas defense has been able to play it up and reset. Finally, Granberry is able to record one on the stat sheet. <laughs> The teammates led by Ashlyn King. Pretty impressed. Granberry now with five blocks. Right side off balance off the antenna and Tennessee closing in on taking set three two points away. Interesting rotation for Texas because the way they line up and serve receive win is on the right side Phillips on the left they're swinging from unnatural positions for them. There is Sydney Jane's back on to serve she went on a service run earlier freshman in a big spot here in the NCAA tournament. Tennessee now shorthanded with their starting Libro Jay Torres out with an injury. Phillips good defense by Tennessee Fingal. Drops it in. Set point, Lady Balls. And the defense comes from James, Eric, who just put a quality serve in play, playing in this match because they've had to make a switch at the Libro position. Torres injured. And talk about contributions from everyone. So the freshman back there to serve for the set. Showing no nerves as she delivers. Wenis. Chance here for Tennessee to go up two sets to one. They go to who else but Fingal, but she misses the mark, and Texas still alive. Just along from Fingal, and an extended conversation between Morgan Fingal and Caroline Kirk. It feels like they have yet to find a rhythm. It's hit, miss, hit, miss. And I really like the fact that as a freshman setter, there's Caroline Kerr right there talking with her. We got to figure this out. We're going to figure it out now. And they, the great communication on the floor. Bingo hitting 062. She came into the match in 326 on the season. Set point number two for Tennessee. Bingo got there. Well, they went for the big rip from Janasia Moore. I admire the effort, but it, maybe yeah. a bridge too far, and that gives the point to Texas, and Tennessee will take a timeout. Yeah, that's a hard call. I like being aggressive even late in a set, taking a rip at it, trying to take a swing, zero in on a particular player. We've seen them miss, so what do they do here? Carissa Barnes back at the service line for Texas. They were down 24-21. It's now 24-23. They go after Plante. Bingo. And in the net is Texas. Point Tennessee, and the set goes to Tennessee. And for a moment, I thought the attack from Fingal had hit the antenna, and it was a net violation from Texas. After
after talking about being sloppy in set two, set three in the Here they are in the regional semifinal round, trying to set up a match with the winner of our next match between Stanford and Arizona State. A spot in Tampa on the line. And now Texas up by four in the set. Tennessee out of the Tennessee timeout. They get the point to end the Texas run at four straights. Caroline Kerr, great job applying the pressure on that second contact attack over the net. She knows there is a block to contend with. She puts a little something extra into that one. Eckler sends it over. Swindle sends it to Madison Skinner. Who missed the mark? Point huge, Tennessee. huge hole in the block there. Looked like a one on one opportunity for Madison Skinner. I think a little lower than she expected the set to be, but still lots of opportunity there. That's her seventh attack error of the match. Eckler with the short serve again. Swindle. Tennessee's ready for it. Janasia Moore didn't get it. Point for Texas. And you see her stop for a minute, collect herself. She's thinking, she just felt like you've got to be kidding me. I think she really felt like she got a clean quality swing on that. And Coach Rackamod off the bench encouraging her, hey, next ball, we got to move on. Moore averaged six kills per set in the first two matches of the tournament. It's been held to eight kills here tonight. And that's going to be an ace. Targeting Ponte. Texas gets the ace. And now I'd like to see here if Erica Lovett squeezes Plante just a little because they have not up to this point really trusting her there in serve receive. Keep your eye on the white jersey right side of your screen with that more skin. She coach. does. Yes. Look at that. They don't show it. They don't want the server to see it. But as the server goes to serve, you see her make that adjustment. Great call, Missy. But right now, Asia O'Neill at the net gets another block. She has been dominant in this fourth set so far. That ball is just too tight for an attacker against Asia O'Neill. No room to swing around. Asia O'Neill when the ball is set that tight. Block out of play. Point Tennessee. Janasia Moore is battling nine kills now with 11 errors. You've seen moments where she looks a bit dejected and Coach Rackham Watt off the bench encouraging her. Nothing coming easy against Texas if you're swinging from the outside. That's going to be three contacts. Fourth one is too many. So that's a point for Tennessee. Seems like a bit of a mental lapse, though, when we talk about errors here. Jared Elliott talked about it right before the start of the third set at Tennessee 1, that it was his team's mistakes that were costing them. And now Tennessee building some momentum back up. And the frustration evident on the face of the Texas head coach. For Tennessee, that's going to be their fifth ace on the day. Seven errors so far. Not a bad ratio at all. Tennessee team with four players that came in with 30 aces, four more. Tennessee there at the net with the defense. And then double contact called on Tennessee. So the point goes to Texas. And with Torres out of the match, I think Erica Lovett trying to be more aggressive in secondary setting, coming in, flying in to make that contact, and it's the right idea. She comes in, tries to use her hands, wants to particularly hang a ball up for Morgan Fingal, just doesn't get her feet set, rolls out of her hands. Sent back to Skinner. Swindle with the kill. That's three for the setter. Two-hand turn kill. Nice disguise here by Ella Swindle. There's a big part of the story right now. Jay Torres, libero for Tennessee. Out of the match with a shoulder injury. Mackenzie Ponte 
in the Libro jersey, and that who's being targeted right now by Texas. Bingle drops the hammer and gets the point, her 15th kill. There it is, the deep corner cross-court angle shot that Tennessee relies on from Morgan Fingal. It's been a little long at times during this match. That's a nice quality swing by Morgan Fingal. Ashlyn King on the serve for Tennessee. Redis. Set back for Fingal. Alter with the dig. Back row attack. Tennessee there defensively. Love it! With the kill. Fingal switching her shot up. She goes line early in that rally, and Emma Halter makes a really nice dig to extend it. But here we are again, transition play, and Tennessee coming up with a big swing in one of those long rallies where they have consistently been able to win out. Six kills now for Lovett to go with those seven digs. And at the net, there's Lovett showing some hops to knock it over the net. Lovett has really turned into a glue player for this mm. Tennessee team. Had maybe better attack numbers last year. You talked about before, kind of in a libero type role that's going to float long. And they've really needed her today. You pointed it out beautifully before about how she was drifting over to try to take the pressure off of Plante doing whatever she can at the net and in the back row. It's interesting because her numbers on paper may look less than they did a season ago, and she actually is doing more for this team. Her contribution is greater yeah, this year, yes. Absolutely, with the ball control and the way they lean into her defensively, and just six rotations, so solid. Ella Swindle serving, that's gonna go long, and a service error for Texas. They are into double figures now at 10. Jared Elliott said earlier this season, this is one of the best serving orders that he's had in his long career at Texas now in his 23rd season. And when you say order, we mean all six players, one after another. The opponent never gets to take a breather. As a passer, you're like, oh no, now she's back at the line. You know, you just never get a playoff. Sydney James back on the serve for Tennessee. Off hands, Lover with the bump. Set now for Lovett for the kill. say moments ago about her importance so I'll tell you what she does it all that's why she's so good look at the tempo of the set from Caroline Kerr Erica Lovett not one of the biggest outsides that we're going to see that tempo helps her to find a, a kill because it gives her just a second to get through the scene yeah she's quick off the ground too you can mm -hmm. just tell really springy she got up there and used that quick arm that one finding the mark from the left side Molly Phillips with the kill That's a rotation where we said Molly Phillips swings from the left side, Jenna Wynn is from the right side. We saw some trouble there, but that time they're able to get out of it quickly. A nice high swing from Molly Phillips. Carissa Barnes back on to serve for Texas. Received by Plante. Hammered by Raven Chase. I like the choice there by Carolyn Kerr because you've got Morgan Fingal standing in right front and serve receive. You're thinking, of course, that's where she's going to go. Such a natural, such a natural rotation to set Morgan Fingal, and yet she goes away from her. And you see there the block just about a half a step late. 13 combined kills for the middles for Tennessee, and then a service error for Fingal. That'll be the ninth service error for Tennessee. And it looked as though Tennessee gave Morgan Fingal a short service zone. The way she hit that ball didn't strike it real hard, and it doesn't work in their favor. Emma Halter serves for Texas. Love it off hands. Bat it around, and it'll be a point for Tennessee. And now the officials are going to have to discuss, was it off the attack or off the block that the ball hit the antenna? Tennessee right away was motioning that she attacked the ball, the ball hit the block, and then the antenna. Oh, come on, the freshman put into a very tough spot. Calls confirmed, as Missy mentioned, so 
The point is for Tennessee. And Sydney Eric, Jane's getting called yes. on as a freshman to serve as well for Tennessee. Everybody who's been called on has had that fight today here for Tennessee. And, and to, to, to your point, I think Morgan Fingal really personifies the fight that we've seen from Tennessee because I look at her numbers now. She's at 15 kills matching Maddie Skinner. You know, going point for point there with with uh, Texas's star only hitting 108. So it has been an absolute battle, but she just keeps coming at you. Service error by Tennessee. Each team now with 10. Akana comes on the serve for Texas up by one here in the fourth. has gone past the two-hour mark. Tennessee says there was a touch. The officials Official agree. Now, Jared Elliott just used his challenge card unsuccessfully. Remember, he could use a challenge here. If this is unsuccessful, verdict is in. And the call is successful challenge for Texas. No touch. I think that's the right call. That side angle was the one that yep. sold it for you. Yep. Not only a point for Texas, but they retain the challenge card, which is just as important. Eve Rackham Watt is wondering, was there enough evidence there to overturn it? So the point for Texas, 16-14, it kind of serves. Chase. Net violation, I saw that. So the point goes to Tennessee, another mistake for Texas. And that was Ponte who nailed the pass, sure well did. done. Sure did, she'll sub out, little smile on her face now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ponte is telling Ashley King, you see that pass, you see that pass? <laughs> Swindle with the back set. Block back in play. Granberry with the points. There's been a little give and take at the net with the middles. A little intensity building up, and Granberry giving it back here. She leans into the seam and yet turns the ball back in bounds all in one movement. What an athletic play by Granberry. Swindle with the back set. Another big play by Graham Perry. Not able to make a play blocking at the net defensively. So what she do? She dives in behind the block and tries to pick it up. Slow getting up, though. Tennessee all out defensively. You have to credit them for that. We've seen several players slow to get up off the ground after going for a ball down low defensively and taking some, some lumps here. So we had players on the court in front of the Tennessee bench, and Granberry was down as well, so they're mopping things up. Get, gives Kiki Granberry a chance to gather herself here, as you pointed out, slow to get up, still trying to stretch things out. Texas by one here in the fourth. Good joust at the net. We're all hands, it kind of got there. Skinner drifts back. Opportunity here, and the center goes for the kill. Freshman Caroline Kerr showing a little fire as well. What a gutsy move here by Kerr. Free ball, right? You're thinking, where is she going to go offensively? But realize Janasia Moore came all the way inside the court to take first contact. She really only had one option when Janasia Moore released inside. Swindle back for O'Neal. Great job by Ponte to get there. Swindle goes to Wenis. Janasia Moore. Skinner off the net. Point Tennessee. Lady Vols in front and here in the fourth. Granberry is working. I mean, coast to coast, side to side, up there at the net. Some key block deflections that allowed her team to defend behind. And we've talked about the dominance of this offense all season long, but the coaching staff knew, could our defense meet it? Could we play at a high defensive level? That was the question. Bodies flying, Ponte will bump it over for Tennessee. Up two sets to one.
Fingal pushes it across. Skinner back row attack. Tennessee was there for it. The long way, the kill attempt flipped over the net. We play on. Set back for Fingal, winds up. Love it, got a hand on it. And Texas was in the net. And it just feels like Texas has not been able to win one of those long ones. You know, That's they, the fight. Yes. That's the Tennessee fight. Absolutely. The transition game winning right now for Tennessee. So Jared Elliott, because he was successful on that pre- and it is, call is confirmed. So that's it for Texas Challenges here in the fourth set. Nineteen seventeen. Tennessee with the lead and, and serving. And perhaps with their strongest offensive rotation across the front row. O'Neal with the kill. <laughs> the net violation goes against O'Neal. I don't think she was real happy about that. So feed her the ball. Great choice, Ellis Wendell. O'Neal now with eight kills, hitting 333, seven blocks as well. Fingal with the rip. That drops in, and Morgan Fingal's got her 17th kill. Tennessee, the first to 20 here in the fourth. Fingal feels like getting better and better as this match goes on. And were she not so mature as a player, I don't think that would be the case because it was a rocky start and she could have folded, but she certainly has not. Set back, Fingal again. It is not over until 25's up on the scoreboard. Good serve from King. Swindle, back row attack. Skinner with the kill. I like the choice because Madison Skinner out of the back row. I think you're going to get a one block look here, which is exactly what happens. She has all sorts of room to swing, but I tell you what, Akana, perfect pass. Perfect pass. Ella Swindle ready to serve. Halter. Big swing. Wenis. Dug out Plante. Love it. Off hands. Point Tennessee. Plante transition dig turns into a point. Couldn't have done it any better. Look at her stepping into the angle and just popping it right up into the center of the court. That's what you want, that big box dig. Perfect. Nine kills for Lovett, hitting 412. Seven digs, five assists, and she's throwing in a block and an ace for good measure. <laughs> Here's Sydney James, the freshman, back on. <laughs> Off the block, that drops in, Point Texas. And you think these players aren't swinging with some force, with some power? I mean, Jenna Winnis goes so hard into that block and, and is able to push through, to power through with a kill, but it literally forces her back. Here's Carissa Barnes back on to serve for Texas. Set back, love it off the net. Cuts and fingertips. And violation again called on Texas, and it's a point for Tennessee, 23-20. Just a strange number of net violations, Eric, that we've seen. And I agree with the calls. I think the calls are correct. I think it speaks to how intense they are on deflecting balls. They know they've got to slow down that attack, and it draws the blocker into the net at times. Can go with the serve. Swindle. Goes to who else? Madison Skinner for the kill. Next level. Just, just a next level swing here from Madison Skinner. Who seems to be her best in big moments in tournament time. Oh, 
Walter to serve for the Longhorns. Love it. Moore kept it alive. Love it. Found the opening. Skinner again. Here she comes. Timeout, Tennessee. Texas, putting up some Texas. Back to serve after the Tennessee timeout for Texas. They go to the middle again. Halter got an arm out there to keep it alive. Love it. Texas with another block. Tied at 23. It's a tough matchup right there for Erica Lovett. Undersized on the outside. Great setup by Molly Phillips. It was the block of Tennessee that started this match that had the Longhorns looking dominant. Will we see it again? Seven blocks in set one. 13 now for the match for Texas. Timely one. Phillips and O'Neill teaming up. 3-0 run for Texas. Halter serves again. On the slide, Chase dropped it down, and it's a point for Tennessee. Match point, Lady Vols. And I think with that pass, everyone expected Caroline Kerr to hang a ball up in the middle of the court for Morgan Finkel out of the back row, and yet she found a way to push it to that antenna. Erica Lovett serving for the match for Tennessee. Oh, hands tied at 24. You need to win by two. Texas still in it. Madison Skinner will not be denied. Tennessee looking for their first regional final appearance in 18 years. Texas a fixture in the regional final round. But an uphill battle right now for the Longhorns. Overpass. Tennessee there with the block. Skinner dug out. Fight at the net. Off hands. Point Texas. Set point Longhorns. Two heavyweights. Two heavyweights going at it. Kayla Akana, who has just delivered a clutch serve or two in her day. Back to serve for Texas. Fingal with the rip. Texas with the dig. Bingo! Another Texas dig. The joust pulled off the net. Net violation. Point Texas. Texas takes the set. We may have a challenge. Challenge cards coming out. We may have a challenge. Building the drama. Calls confirmed. Texas wins the set. Match. When we were talking about their start to the tournament, their very first set against Texas A&M was not a good set. They dropped the first set of the tournament and then won six straight to finish out the first and second rounds. But he said he pulled one of his players aside after that first set and said, listen, we still got like an hour and a half, maybe two hours of volleyball to play here. <laughs> Plenty of time. <laughs> and that has certainly been the case tonight. Plenty of time. Well, his team was down 23-20 in that fourth set. They pushed back, and then Tennessee had a match point at 24-23. Texas came back to close it out and win the set. First point goes to Molly Phillips. We played a 15 as a reminder here in this fifth set. It goes quickly. When a team gets to eight points, the two teams will change sides. Each team is given a challenge. Remember, that's very important for Texas because they had exhausted their challenges, so they have one challenge remaining. 
interesting, Eric, in that we knew Maddie Skinner would start in left front, and Tennessee starts Fingal in right back. So we do not get the Fingal Skinner matchup. They're not there to defend one another, which means we could have plenty of fireworks offensively. Fingal gets the kill. She's up to 19, one shy of Skinner's 20. Erica Lovett's been outstanding tonight, wearing many hats for this Tennessee team. Chase batted it back. They look for Phillips. Lovett can't control this one. It's another point for Molly Phillips here in the fifth set. Yeah, and I'm talking about the fact that Maddie Skinner's on fire. They're going to keep feeding her. And what do they do? They come out and Ella Swindle, a couple quick balls to Molly Phillips, who puts them away. We've said she is an X factor for the Longhorns. Phillips with nine kills tonight. 20 kills for the tournament. Akana back on the serve. They go quickly and Chase goes off speed to drop it in for another point. She's into double figures. Now up to 11 kills on the night for Raven Chase. Her season high is 13 against Arkansas. Yeah, it's the Maddie Skinner show for Texas, but for Tennessee, we talked about the fact that they're very diverse. Four players in double digit kills right now. Fingal with the 19, Chase with the 11, love it, and more with 10 each. Abby Eckler to serve, 2-2 two -two in the fifth. Swindle goes to Skinner. Janasia Moore with the attack and the point for Tennessee. High, hard, and off hands. Great look at Janasia Moore's ability to elevate here as she goes up off those hands. Eckler, again, to Halter, Swindle, and the net violation called on Texas. And Eric, what Eckler's doing here from the service line, that short serve into right front, they're actually trying to eliminate the slide attack from Asia O'Neill, jam up that section of the court. They haven't quite been able to take it away, but have maybe decreased its ability to be effective. Three nothing run now for Tennessee. Eckler doing a good job at the service line. Bingle a little trouble controlling that one. Janasia Moore. What a swing by Skinner off the net, but still got a ton on it for the kill. Janasia Moore of Tennessee had a really difficult look from left front, and now Maddie Skinner with a difficult look as well. As you said, well off the net, inside, and she has a really nice final gather step where she really collects herself, gets up off the ground, and is able to put a little something on that. Skinner now with 21 kills. She also has a couple of aces, five blocks, and five digs. And the good news for Tennessee, now in the back row. Reset by Kerr. Kerr comes for it. Moore tries to find a spot, and she does. Janasia Moore for Tennessee. Janasia Moore with just such a high IQ shot right here because she has to use her off speed, but instead of going short over the block where the defender is, she kind of finds a seam defensively by pushing it a little deeper. Caroline Kerr, the freshman with the serve. It's a good one. Kerr had to dive in to try to save it. A Kerr, dig now by Kerr. A dig. She's filling out the bingo card right now for Tennessee. There's the back row attack. You just said a moment ago, the good news for Tennessee is that Skinner's yeah. in the back row, but Madison Skinner on that back row attack has been fantastic this season for Texas. Yeah, the moment I said that, I thought maybe I shouldn't have said that because we could see a whole lot of that. Asia O'Neill to serve for Texas. 22 kills for Skinner. Set back for Fingal and Fingal with the calm kill for Tennessee. And isn't this fun? We get three rotations of Maddie Skinner across the front. Now, now we're going to get three rotations of Morgan Fingal across the front, and we are just exchanging offense. Ashlyn King set to serve. 
Fort Tennessee. Swingle looks for Skinner from the back row attack again. Love it. Misses the mark, Point Texas. These players are performing at such a high level, Eric. I just, I can't say enough good things about the defensive specialists that we've seen come into play for Tennessee as they've had to make an adjustment. If you're joining us late, Torres, the libero for Tennessee out with injury. They've had to shuffle the cards a little, but I mean, every player has made big contributions in this one. Ella Swindle serves long. Service. Saying there was contact, so it's an yeah, ace. It's an ace. And Swindle Texas. does a great job there of serving a seam. And realize that's not just any seam, that's a seam between two players who don't regularly pass alongside one another because we just mentioned moments ago a change in the Libero jersey. Fingol got a good look at where she wanted to attack, and she found her spot again for her 21st kill. And a connection that seemed just a little off early in this match all of a sudden looks right on target. That ball for a moment I thought was going to be too low for Morgan Fingal, and it wasn't. That is where she likes it. Sydney James back on the serve, the freshman for Tennessee. Swindle set it back for Wenis. Wenis got a lot on it. Kerr couldn't handle it. We're tied at seven. I think there was a touch there on the block at the net, which is why Kerr thought she had to go above her head and try to make a play on this one. Nice job there by Jenna Wenis in a really difficult situation. Two blockers off the net, not much of an approach. Wenis now with 10 kills for the match. Barnes. Her got it to Fingal, and Fingal off the hands got the point for Tennessee. The two teams will now change sides with Tennessee up 8-7 in the fifth set. Back to the rotation we started in, just on the opposite side of the net. That means Fingal is serving for Tennessee. Skinner in the front row looking for the attack and gets it. 23rd kill for Madison Skinner, one shy of her career high. She's gone for 24 twice in her career. The high contact point there from Madison Skinner allowed her to get on top of that ball. And on top of it, she's able to get it to the floor really quickly. Been a long match. We are two hours and 45 minutes in. So <laughs> there's been a lot of delays for reviews, mopping up the perspiration on the floor. Been a great match. Here's Halter. Timing off for the set to chase. Skinner takes advantage. Net violation called on Tennessee. And you see some frustration there from Raven Chase. I think she got a piece of the net, but it's probably not going to matter. Is this? That is above her season average, 293. So Emma Halter back out there, ready to serve. Take a look behind Halter on this serve to see where she's going to target. Remember that conversation just a moment ago between Lovett and Fingal and Moore. Phillips off speed. Fingal on the attack off the block for the points. There's one rotation in just about every lineup where you have some concerns. Can we side out? Do we have enough offensive fire in that rotation? That rotation with Raven Chase and Lovett, the only two front row attackers, could have possibly been that for Tennessee, and Morgan Fingal just blasted them out of it. Lovett back to serve. 
for the Lady Vols. Good serve, Halter. Skinner. Battle at the net. And into the nets. Net violation, Tennessee. And Madison Skinner finding a way. I mean, that is a high ball coming from deep right back that she has to take a, a swing at. And she still puts her team ahead in that point, creates an overpass with, as you said, off the net, big swings. She's putting some pace on him. Hakana to serve for the Longhorns. Kerr, Bingle. Chance here for Texas. Hakana calls for it. Gets it to who else? But Skinner, 25, a new career high. And the contact point, I mean, just sit back and appreciate this swing. Goes up and gets it over the block, right into the lap of the defender. But just the pace on that ball cannot be played. 26, I shorted her one. Sorry, Madison. Wow. Set my apology. Losing count here, you're piling them up so fast. Overpass, dropped down by O'Neal. All the momentum with the Longhorns right now. Three points away from advancing to the regional final, and Tennessee will use their final timeout. Tennessee had an 8-7 lead. Now Texas up by three late. Akana with Texas on a 3 nothing run. Curve. Point Tennessee. Chase sneaks one through with a quick snap of the wrist. The block is there, but she's able to get it through before the block gets over the net. Just a little space. No way you're getting that one by without a really quick arm swing. Raven Chase is able to sneak it through. Abby Eckler comes on to serve. At the net. Guess who won the battle? The setter, Ella Swindle. But she's not just any setter. She's a big, strong setter, and she showed her muscle there. Six foot three. Welcome to your first NCAA tournament, Ella Swindle. Setters always win those, though, to be honest with you. They, they actually get the most practice at them because they're in that situation so many times. And by the time they're a senior, no one wants to joust with the setter. Well, you just said it. She's a freshman, so she's figured she's a few things out. She's already got it going. Also a great dig. Wenis off hands. Another joust at the net with Wenis and O'Neal there. Akana to Wenis with the left hand. Finds the spot. Match point, Texas. That's been the issue right there. I can think of three times they've used off speed from Texas, and the kill has come in that spot over and over. Fittingly, Skinner serving for the match. Bingo. Off the block, saved by Texas. Free ball here for Tennessee. On the swing, Halter there defensively. Wenis for the match. Blocked back, Tennessee's not done yet. Match point number two for the Longhorns. Freshman Caroline Kerr needs to go on a run here to keep Tennessee's season going. At the net, the overpass. Another battle, and into the net is Texas. And actually, she's motioning back, back row, row attack. attack. Yes, back row attack and Jared is Elliott the indication. Wants Madison Skinner to question this. The R1 Patty Rolf called the back row attack. So Skinner. Oh. 
So the indication is there wasn't enough video evidence to overturn the call. So we play on. <laughs> Match point for Texas again. A little miscommunication chance here for Tennessee. Get a little closer. Bingo! Tools the block, and the Lady Balls are within one. Timeout, Texas. Beautiful delivery from Kerr, giving Fingal that line shot, and she goes at it. Just a sliver, and that's all she needs. At the service line, can she do it again? To Okana. Wenis. Off of Halter's hand. That one might have been going long, but Halter made a play for it, and we're tied at 14. You have to win by two. Really nice serve by Caroline Kerr moments ago. She went cross court at Akana. Kerr to Halter. Set back for O'Neill. Who gets the kill? Match point number five coming for Texas. And Asia O'Neill and Madison Skinner. They are the stars of this Texas team, and they have absolutely lived up to that. Asia O'Neill serving for the match. Bingo! That's long. Was there a touch? There'll certainly be a challenge. No touch is the call. Eve Rackham Watt says we'll go to the card. Texas ready to celebrate. Will we play on? Texas wins it!